the green plants. Welcome friends to the wonderful world of the green plants. Can you imagine a world without plants? What would you eat? Bread, rice, but these are obtained from plants. Meat, eggs, milk, these come from animals which are again dependent on plants. Come, let's discuss this in our science class. Why is our earth called green planet? Because it is mostly covered by green plants. Yes, living things on earth belong to two major kingdoms, the plant and animal kingdom. Do you know why life exists only on earth? No, ma'am. Because it has the right temperature, oxygen and water to support life. Leaf Food factory of a plant The green leaves of the plants prepare food for the plant and the process is called photosynthesis. Leaves are therefore known as the food factories of a plant. Every plant has a type of leaf. We can identify the plant by its leaf. For example, neem leaf, maple leaf, eucalyptus leaf, pine leaf and gulmohar leaf. Parts of a leaf Let's have a closer look at the different parts of a leaf. The main vein, side veins, leaf blade and stomata. The tube-like veins are the transport system of the leaves which carries water from stem to all the areas of the leaf. Stomata are lining holes on the underside of the leaves. Air enters and leaves through these openings. These tiny holes help the plant to breathe. Functions of a leaf It makes food for the plant. The holes in the surface helps the plant to breathe. The leaves of spinach, cabbage and mint are eaten as food. Some leaves like mint and tulsi have medicinal values. Under the shade of trees, the air is cool. How do leaves make food? The plants make food in the leaves with the help of chlorophyll pigment using water, sunlight and carbon dioxide. This process is called photosynthesis. In this process, apart from food, water and oxygen is given out. The prepared food is called sugar. The food is stored for the daily activities and the extra food is stored as starch in root, stems, leaves or fruits of the plant. Interdependence of plants and animals The life of plant kingdom and animal kingdom are interdependent. The plant produces food and oxygen. The animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. The plant-eating animals eat the plants and its products. The flesh-eating animals eat the plant-eating animals. When the animals die, they decay and decompose and are mixed with soil. The plants take the minerals from the soil. This goes on and on. Introduction Hello friends, I am your friend Rahul. As we all know that our body is made up of several parts. Each part of our body has its assigned job. Similar to our body, a plant also has several parts in its body. Let's learn about parts of a plant and their functions in detail. Introduction Hello friends, I am your friend Rahul. As we all know that our body is made up of several parts. Each part of our body has its assigned job. Similar to our body, a plant also has several parts in its body. Let's learn about parts of a plant and their functions in detail. 
objectives. At the end of this course, you will be able to identify the parts of plants, describe the structure and functions of roots, stem, leaves and flowers, explain the functions of roots and seeds. Dear friends, as we can see around us, there are a lot of varieties of plants and trees. They all are green in color and provide peace to our eyes. But have you ever observed a plant closely? You can see some of its major parts such as stem, leaves, flowers and fruits above the ground. But do you know that some part is also hidden under the ground? This part is called root. You can see here the parts of the plant and their names. So just drag and drop the names in their respective boxes. Now, let's know the parts of the plant in detail. Let's start with the root. The root is the non-green part of the plant which grows under the ground. Do you know? that there are mainly two types of roots tap roots and fibrous roots but what are they in a tap root there is a main thick root that grows deeper in the soil several weak and thinner roots grow out from this main root tap roots are generally found in bean pea and mustard plants but in a fibrous root, a number of almost equal sized roots are attached to the end of the stem. That is, there is no main root like tap root. This kind of roots is present in grass and wheat. Till now we have learnt the structure and types of roots. But now the question is, what are the functions of the roots? Friends, actually roots hold the plant firmly in the soil. They also absorb water and nutrients from the soil and send them to the other parts of the plant. Roots also perform the function of storage of food in some plants such as carrot, radish and turnip. The food prepared by the plant is stored in the roots. We eat these roots and get nutrition. Now let's know about stem. Stem is the green or brownish part of the plant which grows above the ground. It provides support to the plant and bears branches, leaves, flowers and fruits on its body. In young plants, the color of the stem is usually green but over a period of time and with advancing age it turns brown in color. Some trees like banyan and mango have hard strong and brown stem. It's called trunk whereas some trees such as banana has a thick but soft and green stem. In some plants the stems are so weak that they cannot hold the plant upright. Such plant climbs with the help of a support so they are called climbers. Money plant is the best example of this kind. Now let's focus on the main functions of stem in plants. The water taken in by the roots of the plant travels to the leaves through the stem. This water is used by the leaves to make food. It also carries food made by leaves to all parts of the body. Sometimes the food made by the leaves is stored in the stem as in sugar cane. The other examples are potato and onion. We eat these stems and get nutrition. Next part of the plant is leaf. It is a green part of the plant that is born on the stem. They are of different shapes. Some are round, some are long and some are triangular. The surface of a leaf is known as margin and their margins are also different like their shapes. Some of them have straight margins while some have uneven margins. The flat part of a leaf is called leaf blade. 
each leaf on its leaf blade has a main vein and many small veins connected to it. Through these veins, water is circulated throughout the leaf. Now let's discuss the main functions of a leaf. The main function of a leaf is to make food for the plant. For making the food, they use water, chlorophyll, carbon dioxide and sunlight. This process of making food is called photosynthesis. In this process, oxygen is released. All living things require oxygen for breathing. Some plants like cabbage and mint store food in their leaves. We eat these leaves to get nutrition. Now, let's highlight on the most attractive and beautiful part of the plant, that is, flower. They are of different colors. They are of many shapes and sizes. Most of the flowers contain a sweet smell and when it spreads, it attracts insects and birds. You will be surprised to know that flowers are also called reproductive organ of the plant as they help plants in the process of reproduction. I know that most of you like fruits. Fruit is the juicy part of the plant. It forms from the flowers of the plant. Fruits are of different shapes, sizes and colors. Fruits are good for health as they contain many vitamins. Friends, seeds are present inside the fruits. Some fruits like mango have only one seed inside them while others have many seeds, like an apple and watermelon. Do you know that a new plant grows from a seed? It also stores food for the baby plant. When the seed gets water, air and suitable temperature, it starts growing and soon it grows into a new plant. Till now you have learnt about different parts of the plant and their functions. Now it's time to have some fun. Students, you might have seen lotus floating in ponds and lakes. These plants show various adaptations to live in water. Lotus plants have long and hollow stem, which attaches the plant to the base of the pond. Roots are short, leaves are wide and disc-shaped, thus helps the plant to float on the water surface. Some aquatic plants remain submerged in the water, for example, hydrilla. Summary Now, friends, let's summarize what we have learnt. The main parts of a plant are roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. Stem, leaves, Flowers and fruits grow above the ground and the roots grow below the ground. Roots hold the plant firmly in the soil. They absorb water and nutrients from the soil and send them to other parts of the plant. The water travels from roots to the leaves through stem. Some stems also store food in some plants. Leaves make food for plants in the presence of water, chlorophyll, carbon dioxide and sunlight. Flowers are also called reproductive organ of the plant as they help plants to reproduce. Fruit is the juicy part of the plant. It forms from the flowers of the plant. Fruits have seeds inside them. A new plant grows from a seed.